guys, this is Minister. We got Ever Ride and a bush out here. <laughs> Ever Ride on Craig's Husky. We got uh, Jordan Cody trying to get oh. ang angrily turning. And we got Doss in front of us. And it's been a, almost a year since I've made a video. A year <laughs> since minute walk time. Yeah. And uh, the reason for that is because uh, I was just not feeling this channel anymore. I'm not feeling this channel. I have my other channel that I do, Minute Watch, which I focus on watches, and it's far more successful than Minute Stop. Plus, I don't like the name Minute Stop. I never did. The reason it being is because that's a company on Maui that I have nothing to do with. And when I go ride and tell people my YouTube name, they always ask me for chicken and moosies <laughs> because that's what they sell. It's a convenience store. Do you sell some good chicken? Some good chicken. You, but, um, it's never given me any chicken, by the way. You know what? Let's go to a minute stop and let's have chicken. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, okay. So, so guys, uh, we're riding in Maui. Got some foliage over here. Oh. And um, I want to ask you folks about change. Because I think change is a good thing. I, I like change and I hate it at the same time. Yeah. Change scares me, but it's also exciting because every time I've had a big change in my life, it's usually been the result of something that was drastic or upsetting, like somebody dying or some or losing my job or something like that, you know? Yep. You know what I mean? It's usually yep. something it's a reactionary change. Yeah. And it's always been positive for me. So, in a couple of months, I am legit going to lose my job. I've been complaining about it. How, how long has it been, have I been complaining about that? About 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been telling people that I'm going to lose my job about 10 years now. But it's been announced and the contract is ending and I'm going to lose my job. And I'm not even mad. Um, there, this is opening the doors for other opportunities. So, I'll, I'll click unemployment <laughs> <laughs> for about... Oh, for about six months and then work on my channel. But I figured I have this Minute Stop channel that I got a bunch of subscribers. I might as well do stuff with it. But I want to change and it needs to change. It's probably going to be the same crap that I produce, but but uh, I want to change the name. So what do you guys suggest that I change to? Oh, I, what do you suggest, Tyler? What do you suggest? Well, I am biased already because you told me the name you're thinking of. Okay, so I name, like that. The uh, name I'm thinking of <laughs> is High Five. H I G H number five. High five. Oh, I wanted the letters five, but somebody has that channel, and I think I can get high enough. High number five. So what do you guys think about that? And I'm just gonna go around. Well, I'm gonna do high fives. I'm gonna high five people. You know, high can five. We, can we do the first one right now? Yeah. First high five. Yeah. Just do high five. Yes. Oh, shit, first high five. First high five. So what do you guys think about that? Or if you have other suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments below. I have, I have one already. What is it? Low five. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yeah, my clutch is not good. Yeah, he's been having clutch problems. Lots. Oh, we got dust. Yeah. It's like we to the thirds. We've got dust. We've got dust. So let's talk about the doors opening because every time it seems like this, as, as humans, we're creatures of habit and we like our habit. We love the status quo, you know, we just, change is always frightening to us because we can't predict the future. And we love our safety nets. Yes, the safety net is so nice, but the funny thing is, is if we were, if we were really truly logical and based things on facts and past experiences, we could almost always say that change, in some way or another, maybe not always, but in some way or another, will bring about good. Yeah. Like, oh no, that girl dumped me. And then later you always say, oh, I dodged a bullet. Yeah. Or, oh, I'm losing my job. And then it's like, oh, like we work full time on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, you know, like there's so many things that seem so bad at the time. And it's like, my life is over. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just not, and we know it's not, but I, it's, I don't know, it's change is scary. It's change is scary. And emotional uncertainty. Yeah, it, it, it can be bad. Sometimes change can bring about bad things. Yeah. Some people have changed and it's a terrible, terrible thing. And they wish they never did the thing that they did to change. But, you know, sometimes, you, not sometimes, but, if you want things to 
change, you gotta make the effort to change. You gotta yeah. do it. You oh, can't yeah. just sit around going, oh no, I hope somebody does it for me. Oh no. Uh, oh no, oh no, where did they go? Did they go straight? Uh, uh, the dust seems to go straight. Yeah, there they are. So I, I have all kinds of plans that, that I'm gonna do. Yeah. Well, the, the funny thing is, is people we're paradoxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're paradoxes because we we like predictability and we like the status quo and we like our safety net. But at the same time, at least at least I feel discontent if I'm not pushing in some way. Right. You know, if, if there's not some kind of improvement happening in some aspect of my life, then I feel stagnant. So it's weird because we crave to be stagnant. Like, and normal, and just, yeah, everything's normal and good, and everything's just good. So we want to be stagnant, but at the same time, it makes us frustrated to be stagnant. So sometimes yeah. when these external forces come and, and nail us, and make us think that our world is crashing down, it's not. It's just something that pushes away from our stagnant little putrid pond of, well, they're not always stagnant little putrid ponds, they're often good, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it just pushes us away from, from, you know, who we are and to what we're supposed to become next. Right. Somebody once told me, um, I forgot who it was, but nothing kills a dream faster than a job. Oh. <laughs> it's it's kind of true. It's kind of true, right? It's, well, but, you know, your minute watch is a job. Ever rides a job. Yeah, but it's not, it's, it's, it's not, we're the employers, though. And the difference is, it is the, it is the dream job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, it's our, it's our own, it's our own businesses, which we're not working for somebody else. That's what I mean. Like, like having like a nine to five where you're, you know, corporate. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's your dream to be you know, a corporate worker, then that's, that's well, fine. And I think some people really enjoy their jobs. And I think businesses are kind of. More to the point of, let's value our employees' work instead of our employees' just time. Like, yeah. time on the clock, just for the sake of time on the clock, like eight, that whole eight-hour thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I just got, like, whoa. a branch I'm to my wrong feet. side, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the planet. My neck is going to hurt. <laughs> Their job that's uh that's great you know i mean i love my job for a long time and oh. i was like you know i don't want to do anything else this is great there you know i've i've actually loved every job that i've ever had yeah loved them but my big big problem was my time was not my own yeah there were times when i didn't care uh -oh, because spaghetti -o. it was just uh oh and there's no there's no dust is that dust there yes it looks more dusty that way yeah okay <laughs> just hope it I know, right? <laughs> you gotta keep to the code, guys. You gotta keep to the, the dual sport code. Central bushes. Central bushes. Uh, anyway, Hawaii. yeah. When, when our, our job, I mean, because, you know, you look at the statistics and on any, any given day, you're working for, what? There they are. Like, like two hours out of an eight hour day, you're actually doing some work. And it's like, Two hours, eight minutes for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, you know, even as a teacher, um, if I have my lesson plans done and everything was going good that way, like, you know, my instruction time was maybe 30 minutes into an hour, hour, hour and 30 minute uh, class, and then I'd spend another 20 minutes getting lesson plans done for the next day's class, and then it was like out with the students that are done make sure everybody's doing okay like the actual work that goes into a work day there's not a whole lot of it even for like a teacher yeah at least in my case i mean maybe i was a terrible teacher <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my students say i was okay but only the good ones talk to me anymore so maybe they <laughs> anyway what i'm saying is if we if we only had to work as much as we were productive then a job would be rad like yeah. the way that you guys do it here on Hawaii, a lot of a lot of places, a lot of restaurants and stuff, it's just that they have it right. Oh my gosh, those spiders are enormous. Yeah, so, they're they're deadly. 
Really? Yeah, they're poisonous. Okay. Well, I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.